Today, I'm going to show you within your Google Calendar how you can create a Google Meet uh, for other teachers or for your classroom. So you just go in to make an appointment like normal on your calendar. Click more options. And then right here under location, there's a picture of a camera and it says add conferencing. You click on that and then select Hangouts Meet. And then that is going to create the Hangout for you. So if you add guests like other teachers here, when they accept this appointment on their calendar, they will automatically have access to the Hangout right here. But you're not gonna invite your students to your calendar invitation most likely. So for them, what you would do is click on the little arrow and you would copy this link and that's the link that you would post into Google Classroom. When you are ready to go into the meeting um, as the organizer, you click on the meeting ID and then it's going to open up your Google Meet. You'll be able to turn off your microphone or your camera here. Um, you also see that there is an option for people to join using a phone and audio. If they don't have a computer available, they could call in. So you could um, send that number to families in Class Dojo if you wanted them to just be able to call in and just do the audio portion. So I'm going to go ahead and click join just so that you can see kind of what it looks like inside the meeting room. So over here to the right, you'll see how many people are in the room, which at the moment is just me. But when you click on that, it will give you a whole list of all the people in the room and you are able to mute and unmute the video and the microphone of the people in the room um, until Google rolls out some new updates for educators. Um, the students are able to mute and unmute themselves as well. So that means even if you as the teacher go through and mute everybody, they may unmute themselves. Uh, so you may need to set some ground rules in the beginning of uh, when people can mute or unmute their microphones. Um, and you could always, you wouldn't really want to have to do this, but you can eject people from the room. Um, and not allow them to, um, to be in the room. But I think in the beginning, you're just gonna have to set up some ground rules about if, if I mute your microphone, you keep it muted until I tell you uh, that you can unmute. And it's just good practice in a Hangout anyway for everybody to have their microphone muted unless they're the person speaking, because that really eliminates any background noise. So you can kind of set that up in the beginning of why we mute. It's not because we don't want to hear from you. It's really to help all of us be able to hear the person who is speaking. So some other um, tools that you have available, you of course have the chat where you can, if you're not um, talking, then you can communicate with everybody over here in the chat. Um, and then down at the bottom, you have uh, more options where these three little dots are. If you click on those three little dots, you'll see that you have the ability to record the meeting. If it's something you need to record for people to watch back later, you can change the layout um, and this is just, um, you can have it automatically do the layout so that it adjusts to what it thinks it needs depending on how many people are in the room. Or if you want it to look a certain way, you can choose that here. Um, there's not really much else. <laughs> there's not a lot of options in Google Meet, so it's pretty simple. Um, the other tool that you're going to use the most is going to be down here where it says present now and that's how you can share your screen as the presenter. So if I click on present now and I say my entire screen. Click on your screen and then click share. I can go in to a tab and show students what I want them to see, whether it's a presentation, a slide presentation, just like you would have done in your classroom, or if you want to highlight a web page like I'm doing now to show them different things they could click on uh, in the wakelet that we've been sharing. And then when you're done, you just click stop sharing so that it will go back to you um, on your screen. 
Um, again, you've got your turning off your microphone, turning off your camera down here at the bottom. And I'm gonna show you um, what it looks like uh, once you add students in. Um, so right now I'm in Google Classroom and I've copied the link um, to the Hangout. And I'm just gonna All right, so you would put whatever message you wanted to put, and then um, you put the link for your students and click post right into your stream. And now as students come to that link, they can um, click on it and get ready to join the meeting. And again, before Google rolls out um, updates for educators, which are supposed to be coming very soon, um, when you have this link here, it does mean that students can go into the meeting without you there. Um, and so that's something to be aware of. I would not post the link to your meeting until time to meet. Maybe you post an announcement that you're going to have a meeting at a certain time, and then you post the link when you're ready to actually be in the room with your students. And then once the meeting is over, I would delete um, the, the uh, link in your Google Classroom that, so that kids can't go back to it afterwards and have um, a meeting without you there. So now that I have shared the meeting in Google Classroom, um, students can now join in. As you can see, we have some students joining already. Now that students are joining, I can go in right here and mute um, Anderson's microphone if I don't want to hear from him. He can mute his camera, but he cannot, or I cannot mute his camera, as you can see. All right, you can see right now that Alora is in the room and her microphone is on, so I'm going to go in and mute her microphone for her. Um, and we're remembering that when we're in a meeting together, we all keep our microphones muted unless we are the person talking. So I'm gonna let them, just like if we were in a morning meeting, I'm gonna let them have a moment um, to say hello. And they're gonna um, say good morning and then share one thing that they did uh, this weekend that was fun. And we're gonna start with Alora and then we'll go to Anderson after that. So I'm gonna mute my microphone hold on i'm going to mute my microphone and then we're going to hear from alora and then from anderson All right, so now we're going to hear from Anderson. So Anderson, go ahead and unmute your microphone and say good morning and tell us something fun you did this weekend. All right, thank you. Um, so uh, that just shows everybody how students can um, unmute their microphone and take turns speaking and the teacher really needs to be the one that kind of tells the order because you, you never know what order people are in um, on the screen. So you kind of have to tell people when to go or establish some kind of order uh, that you want people to follow. You could even put an order over into the chat um, if that would be helpful to students. So I'm going to show again if I wanted to um, tell Lauren Anderson what they were going to be doing for their assignment. I might go into presentation and I would click present now your entire screen. I'm going to click here. I'm going to click share and then I'm going to go to that wakelet. So I would tell them I'm posting a wakelet into Google Classroom for you to go to. And today I want you to look at um, the capstone library. So on the wakelet, you'll see how to log in. And I want you to choose one book that you're going to read 
and then post into our Google Classroom discussion something that you learned from your book. So that would be something I might do in a Google Classroom. Um, so that's really basically how Google Meet works. There's not much else to it um, other than uh, muting and unmuting people's microphones. Once Google rolls out some more updates, you will have some other options like the ability to um, mute everybody's microphone from the beginning and they will not have the option to turn their microphone back on unless you give that permission. But that does not exist right now in our Clark County Google Hangouts. So um, it is important, uh, again, to um, not post the link until students are going to be going into the Hangout and then getting rid of that link once the meeting is over. All right, so I'm going to let um, Laura and Anderson say a quick goodbye, and we're going to end our time together. So, Laura, you can unmute and say bye, and then Anderson, you can unmute and say bye. All right, and we look forward to seeing lots more of each other over the next few weeks. See you later.